maybe Spanish Formula 3 would be a good place for him to start. So the season about to get underway, the first of two races here in Valencia this weekend. Saturday sprint race. And the grid appears to be completed. Tahinci starting from the pit lane. And away they go. And some breaking from the ranks. There's a very slow getaway from the second row of the grid. Looks like Lewis Hamilton did not get hooked up at all well. He's down in fifth or sixth position. PK leads. It. Yeah, good start from PK. Absolutely focused on the lights in the first corner. Maybe a little too much wheel spin from Hamilton and a place change for second there. Everybody looking uh, pretty shiny from the top of the cars. And Hamilton very wide there on the curbs. He's down in eighth or ninth place now. And that is a big mistake for him and a move up the inside. And there's a little bit of nose to tail in the back of the field again. Only about four of the cars with uh, Red Bull colours on them this year. So that makes life a lot easier for everybody. There is Hamilton with the yellow helmet. Directors picking him out already with a lot of work to do in the remaining 44 and three quarter laps, Gareth. Yeah. Not the start he no, wanted. Not at all. If there's any, any circuit you're going to blow your start, this isn't the place to do it here in Monaco because it's not easy to overtake at all. And, and obviously, his first start in a GP2 car uh, didn't make the best fist of it. Well, I'm thinking that Ernesto Viso in the second iSport car is one of these guys in second or third. This is a racing engineering car. One of the two of them, and I would make that Adam Carroll's on-board camera. And the supernova car in front of him. Woo, really? Either Michel, uh, either Jose Maria Lopez has gone a long way back, or a good start from Ferrer's Fauzi. Both of which are... The latter, I think. Yeah, mm, yes, possibly, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, Alan Muller, of course, stepping up from Formula Renault, so a really big jump up for him. PK leads across the line the first time. Adrian Valles, the number five car of Jose Maria Lopez. As we have a look again at the start, Lewis Hamilton in the centre of your picture, the white car dropping back. That was a very good start for the supernova driver. Jose Maria Lopez found some gaps. And to be honest, he hasn't been great on peripheral, peripheral vision in uh, the last two or three seasons from time to time. Middle of the field there, the two DPR cars. A bit of a lock-up. That corner two, the big overtaking area here, apart from the uh, final corner sequence and that was the uh, second of the DPR chilly, cars yeah. and this is Hamilton oh dear it's like me starting a simulator game everybody Ooh, else seems to have the, the same worst reps. feeling in the world oh everybody going past you Jimmy Bruni the man right in front of him and now of course the trouble starts trying to find his way up the grid means he's going to put himself in all sorts of problems that was Piccioni's retirement that was Piccioni running over the back of somebody Sergio Hernandez